What is the training value of this exercise? The training value of this exercise, from what I've observed, is that we're identifying the gaps and seams that we currently have in the process. So once those, uh, we, we know what we, we have uh, a problem with, or we know an area that we're, we don't have a solution, we can uh, take those items and work a solution. And for example, uh, DCMA is going to move from being a, uh, uh, just executing to become a force provider in a contingency scenario. So that means that uh, we're not going to be having a whole command structure taking our forces. We're, if their contingency happens, we're just going to be providing property administrators, uh, uh, administrative contracting officers, and uh, um, quality assurance, which is, which is our specialty. So, so what we are learning here is, with that new construct, what are the issues that we don't know? Who's going to pay for them? How are we going to get the request for forces? Um, the, the demand signal for the items, uh, what, uh, who's going to be the warning authority for those individuals, uh, who's going to write the policy and processes for, for those, and, uh, and then who's going to do the care and feeding, the preparation for them, for those individuals to deploy, um, you know, making sure they have the physical and all that, and then who's going to manage the, the civilians uh, while they're deployed if they have emergency issues or, or whatever, or, you know, uh, discipline issues while they're deployed, and then who's going to take care of them to transition them back to to the um, to the uh, to their home office where they are. So, um, so we've identified, you know, based on our observations, we've identified some of the issues, and I think that that's a good uh, way to move forward. So we will be even more prepared for the next contingency and ensure that. Uh, we are not bogged down with some bureaucratic gap or administrative issue because we hadn't thought about it. So, so this is a good venue to do that.